Good morning from Bali and me. Today started earlier than expected because Bali, for some reason, was up at 6 a.m. So first things first, we're feeding him and then making myself a large cup of tea. This morning, I chose to use these extra hours to take things slow. Bali and I cuddled on the sofa with a tea before getting started with the day's jobs. Hanging out with him and folding laundry in front of the TV was honestly a truly, truly perfect way to start my day. Hello guys, I hope you're all having such a lovely week. Today is a slow, slightly rainy day for me, so I am going to use today to do my full productive weekly reset routine. I've only got just over a week before I go away to South Africa and I am so excited and I really want to spend my final proper like work week before we go being totally in control of my environment and my time so that I can really be feeling my best when I go. So today we are going to get ourselves set up for a productive week next week. I've actually already had quite a productive morning, which has been great. I have got Bali staying with me for the weekend, who is actually my family dog, but oh, I am so obsessed with him. I like to think of him as mine. And my parents are away at the moment, so I've got him with me. So he got me up at 6 a.m. Today, I was not planning for it to be a 6 a.m. productive day, but it has ended up being that because he, got me up at six wanting his breakfast and he would not leave me alone. Anyway, I've had a doctor's appointment. I've done some tax stuff that I needed to do. We've already put a wash on. We've already folded some laundry. I'm now gonna have some lunch. I want something super nutritious and filling because I'm actually super hungry. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna get it on delivery because I have no food in the house which is also on the list today to do a proper grocery haul. We're gonna do some meal prep for the week. We've got some baking that we need to get done, a lot of cleaning to tick off, and in general, just resting and recuperating from a hectic week before I head into my final week of work before I get to go away. I am so excited to spend the day with you. So let's get something super yummy for lunch and continue cracking on with my productive weekly reset routine. So we have got a poke bowl lunch today with a bit of sriracha mayo to go on top because honestly, sriracha mayo Oh, I could take a bath in that stuff. I have got the miso aubergine, some spring onions, some red cabbage, some edamame, and I really love mango with my poke bowl instead of pineapple. And this little guy <laughs> really wants some. So he can't have any because I'm going to devour this right now. And then I'm going to take you out on a walk, little bud. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> yes. And then I have also got a dash drink to have with it because I just think that these dash waters are just the loveliest thing in the whole world and the peaches flavour is probably my favourite. So I'm gonna enjoy this with my little guy. Oh, I'm so obsessed. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. Guys, these little girls just, um... <laughs> oh, Bali. All right, all right, all right, let's give you another one. Let's... Yeah, these little girls just came up to me in Bali um, and asked us if we wanted to buy anything from their stall because they were raising money. Oi, you are such a greedy pig. I'm gonna have to put these treats away. Anyway, let me show you what I got. I basically got a load of dog treats and a little pink scrunchie that they handmade. Anyway, oh my gosh, this greedy doggo. Look, there it is, I dropped it. Look, 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 there it is. A peanut butter treat. Yum. 
Good boy. Yeah, guys, seriously, that was so cute. These little girls came up to me, they must have been like seven or eight, and they were like, please, will you come to our stall? Please, will you come to our stall? We're trying to raise money. Hey, they were raising money for Ukraine. I just looked it up on my phone because um, they've set up a Just Giving page if you don't have cash, which is such a clever idea in the world when people don't carry a lot of cash. But anyway, they were so unbelievably cute. Sorry, I'm still having to throw sticks for this crazy dog. Yeah, they, they came up to me, they had this little pink sign that they'd like written all over and they were like, please we come to our fair and um, and buy some and buy some of our treats and some of our cakes. And I said, all right, all right. Anyway, I went to this little booth. I didn't film it because I just didn't feel like that was right. And also they were children and things. But anyway, they were so cute. They had all these little homemade scrunchies and like little bags they'd filled with lavender. I bought myself this little homemade scrunchie. Um, it's like pink and floral that I just thought was so cute. And they had all of these um, homemade dog treats. They'd made all these like peanut butter dog treats. So I obviously bought a load of those. And they had like a little plate of brownies and a little plate of cupcakes. And <laughs> Oh, it just melted my heart. It was so sweet. So that has totally brightened up my day. It's not raining, which is why Bali and I came out for our walk now. So that's also a good thing. But honestly, it's been a pretty gloomy day weather-wise. And oh, that was just so sweet. I love those kinds of things. Pure concentration. And then the barking starts. Sit. Oh, good boy. Look at that little face. Good job! Yeah! Happy dog! Good boy! <laughs> and look, we're at the lake and there's even, I mean, I'm not sure it's blue sky that's coming through, but it's definitely kind of sunny. Oh yeah, look, there is little patches of blue shining through. Oh, that's a pretty grey one. We'll pretend that cloud's not there. Anyway. I'm having the loveliest walk and the sun is now coming out, which is so, so nice. I'm obsessed. It's gonna be so sad when he goes back to my parents. Anyway, we are now going to make some banana bread. I have got loads of bananas here, which are going very brown. So I wanna get these baked into some banana bread ASAP. I think I'm gonna try and make two loaves or I don't know if I've got an actual loaf tin, but I'm gonna make banana bread cake or banana bread muffins. And some of them I'll keep for me for the week. And then some of them I might take back over to my parents when I drop barley off and give them some banana bread or banana muffins as well. So I'm gonna get that started right now. Okay, so just before I actually dive into banana bread, I've just had my food shop arrived. It came quicker than I thought. 
So I've got a whole load of stuff so that I can do a bit of meal prep. I mean, meal prep is probably strong, but it's a few things that I like to make, which make my life in the week so much easier. Like a few healthy snacks that I can reach for and like salad dressings. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with the salad dressing that I make. I make the same one every week. I've always made the same one and it's just so like fresh and great and having like a homemade salad dressing that's like pre-made in your fridge for the week. I mean, it's, it makes a big difference even that small. Anyway, so let me show you some of the stuff that I've got for the week. Bag of kale, romaine lettuce. I got myself a couple of apples because I want to meal prep more breakfast this week. And I've got a really nice birch and muesli recipe that's honestly the easiest thing in the whole world and I haven't made it in a while. So I'm gonna make that so I've got some easy, just grab and go breakfasts. Some tomatoes. I got some crackers to go with one of the things that I wanna make for my meal prep. I got myself some mints. I haven't actually tried the This Isn't Beef mints before. I also got myself a bottle of wine. I've also got myself some of my very favorite crisps in the whole world, the Torres black truffle ones. I know they've got a bit of a cult following, but I'm obsessed. Aubergine, mushrooms. I mean, my produce haul is significant. I got some little courgettes, some butter. Again, that's for my banana bread, which we'll make in a minute. Some coconut yogurt. If you're dairy free, I absolutely love this one. I got some Mr. Organic Butter Beans, which I am very excited about. And then I also got a four pack of chickpeas because I put them in a lot of my salads because I don't eat meat. I need the protein. Here we go. I always like it when I feel like my little bunny. I always like it when I've got a lot of green in my weekly shop. So I'm like, if I can see quite a lot of green, then we're in a good place. So yeah, this is what we've got. And we're gonna make some very good stuff both today and throughout the week with all of this. Right, these bananas, something's gotta to happen to them. Let's get that done. one key job I wanted to get done today it was a proper bathroom deep clean especially after having a mucky puppy having baths with me over the last couple of days I wanted to give everything a proper proper scrub down the water is also just so hard in London that I get all of this horrible build-up which needs a good scrub every now and again so I thought I'd get the not so fun job of cleaning the bathroom out of the way before I then dove into my banana bread and my meal prep I absolutely love this banana bread recipe. It is relatively low sugar because the only sweetener in there is 60 ml of honey and then the ripe bananas that you use to sweeten it. There is no other added sugar, so I don't know if banana bread counts as being healthy, but it definitely has less refined sugars than a lot of other recipes. While my banana bread went into bake, I could crack on with the rest of my meal prep recipes. I started off with this Bircher muesli for breakfasts. This recipe is vegan. I use a mixture of oats and chia seeds as well as apple and cinnamon. I also always make sure that I top it when it goes into the jar with a bit of extra milk for a bit of extra moisture to soak up overnight. I then started making my salad dressing. Honestly, this is just the best salad dressing in the whole world. Stick it in a jar for the week, it will change your life. And then it was on to this dip. Oh my gosh, the number of things I could say about this dip. So easy, so quick, and so delicious. Okay guys, how good does this look? This is a butter bean dip. I mean, it, it could not have been easy to make. I mean, you saw everything I put in it, right? It's literally just butter beans, lemon, garlic, olive oil, and then I've sprinkled a bit of extra olive oil and cayenne pepper on the top to give it a bit of a kick. And divine. And I'm hoping that I can basically just have this in the fridge for a week. I'm gonna stick some cling film over the top. I need some better like storage jars. I've got more like serving bowl things than I do storage jars. Oh, there's Barney. So I'm gonna like stick some cling film over it basically. And well, I can tell you, I'm gonna enjoy some of it tonight. But otherwise, so happy with that. Doesn't that look so good? Should we should try it, ruin it and try it. It's like so fresh, right? I'm such a dip gal. I just absolutely love dips with stuff. Wow, that cayenne pepper's got a kick. Woo, wow. <laughs> But yeah, I am such a dip gal. And when you buy the store-bought ones, there's just so much rubbish in there. 
they're so much more calorific and this is just such like a healthy fresh way to have dips if <laughs> that cayenne pepper hit right in the back of my throat anyway so divine i am so happy with this i really want to check on the progress of my banana bread should we have a peek i know you're not supposed to open the oven but i'm just really tempted Ooh! oh gosh look you've steamed right up Ooh, i think it's looking good guys Look. I think it's nearly done. Alexa, how long left on my timer? You have two minutes. Two minutes left. Okay, perfect. Right, I'm going to get that out very soon. And I think I'm going to enjoy. And now I'm torn between like, do I have a glass of wine and dip? Or do I have a cup of tea and banana bread? I don't know. Can't decide. Okay guys, so I clearly got a tiny bit distracted by my bean dip because that side is a tiny bit burnt, but I'm just gonna go for crispy instead of burnt. And I think this is looking really good. Like it's obviously risen quite a lot. It's literally <laughs> popping out the top of my little dish, but I need to get myself an actual banana bread loaf tin thing. But I am happy with that. I wish I'd had some bananas to like pop on top. But, oh, I think that looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited to try it. Oh my gosh, yum. Oh, so guys, I feel so pleased with the things I've ticked off today. Because I've managed to do all of the tasks that really irritate me, like doing stuff for the tax man and having a doctor's appointment that I needed to have. I'm doing laundry, which just, it just never ends, does it? But I've also managed to do some of the stuff that I've wanted to do for the last few weeks and not been able to. I'm still eating that bean dip. It's so good. It's so creamy, but also fresh. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Especially if you've got a Nutribullet, because honestly, just stick it in and it's so quick. Anyway, Barley and I are now going to chill on the sofa, probably have a glass of wine and watch a movie. It is so nice that spring is here and it's still a little bit light in the evening, but yeah, we're gonna chill out for the evening. And <laughs> look, he loves having his chest rubbed. <laughs> I'm very sorry if you don't like dogs. I'm aware that most of this vlog has been the dog, but it's just so, <laughs> it's just so exciting every time I get to look after him. He'll actually still be with me for the next video, because I've got him for a few more days, which is very exciting. So we will both see you next week. In the meantime, have the very best week, guys. I hope you've been able to reset a little bit with me as well for your week next week. And as absolutely always, I just cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.